Why Arsenal should sign Ibrahima Konate, the next Rafael Varane, episode 2 of 6. The first episode to this series will be linked in the description below, and in this video I'm going to analyse my centre back choice for Arsenal to sign. But before this video starts, if you are looking for something that can enhance the quality of your photos, then you need Zona Photo Studio X. Zona Photo Studio is the most universal photo software there is. It has raw processing, layer support, presets, retouching tools, video editing and cataloging so it's all there and can help you get that perfect photo. I'll come back to this later on in the video but a link will be left in the description below. So as I specified in the previous episode, Arsenal need a centre back who has good ball control to enable them to build out from the back whilst under pressure. They must have pace and acceleration to be able to play in a high defensive line and must also have the ability to be able to play passes or dribble into the midfield. Some of the other options I considered were Mary Demaral at Juventus, Manuel Akanji, Ben White and Deo Oppomecano. However, the player I've chosen is RB Leipzig's Ibrahima Kanate. The centre-back that Arsenal have been linked with the most in the media from Leipzig is Upper Meccano rather than Canate. However, I do think Canate is the better of the two and I also feel Upper Meccano is unlikely to leave Leipzig for Arsenal at this present time due to interest in him from other clubs in better positions than the North London side. Canate is 20, 21 in May and his contract runs until 2023. He'd cost around 35 million and could slot into the Arsenal back line on the right side alongside either William Saliba or David Luiz. Canate reminds me a lot of a young Rafael Varane, not just because they are both French but because they both have similar key defensive attributes. Canate has the pace to play in a high defensive line and his phenomenal recovery speed is accompanied by his excellent slide tackling ability. This can be seen when we look at Kanate's defensive metrics. He's only played 5 games this season in the Bundesliga due to injury, but last season he made 1.6 tackles per game and was only dribbled past 0.4 times per game. When a through ball is played in behind the Leipzig back line, Kanate has the acceleration and tackling technique to get back and stop the attacker running through on goal. His pace and 1 on 1 defending ability also makes him well adept at moving out into the channel to defend, which can be key in an expansive system like Arteta's, where the fullbacks are expected to push forward, which can leave space in behind them in the channels from where the centre backs can be forced to face up a quick forward. Kanate is a front foot defender who reads the game very well. This is shown as in the 2018-2019 season, he made 2.1 interceptions per game. Comparatively, David Luiz has made just one interception per game this season, with Socrates also only making 0.9 interceptions per game, showing the improvement Canate would be, in terms of Arsenal being able to cut out passes into the opposition's centre forwards more effectively. Canate is dominant in the air, as seen as he only lost 1.6 aerial duels per game in the 2018-2019 season, whilst winning 3.7 per game, meaning he won around 66% of his total aerial duels. David Luiz at Arsenal this season has lost 1.4 aerial duels per game, but has only won 1.6 per game, giving him a 53% aerial duel win rate, showing the improvement Canate would be in the air. On the ball, Canate also suits Arteta's system. RB Leipzig are a team who have been playing quite expansive football for the past few seasons, looking to play out from the back through their centre backs when they can. Canate is well adept at being able to circulate possession under pressure, whilst also having the ability to dribble out with the ball, which can be seen as during the 2018-19 season he completed the fifth most dribbles of any centre back in the Bundesliga with 0.8 per game. Whereas this season David Luiz and Socrates have completed just 0.2 dribbles per game for Arsenal in the Premier League. Canate's dribbling ability is quite unique for a centre back and having an asset like this in deep areas would allow Arsenal to bypass the opposition's press. This could happen when the opposition press Arsenal centre backs and deep line midfielder aggressively, cutting off the passing lanes into the midfield. A centre back like Luiz or Socrates may have to resort to either playing a risky pass forward or playing an aimless long ball upfield conceding possession. However, Canate can use his pace and ball control to stride out of the pressing zone with the ball, moving the attack forward and opening up the opposition's defensive system in a way that a pass alone couldn't. Canate could play the role of a covering centre-back, with either Saliba or David Luiz being the front foot defender who pushes out of the back line to make an interception. This is because Canate's reading of the game and pace will allow him to track runners in behind the defensive line more effectively than his centre-back partner. So Canate offers the pace, tackling ability and front foot defending that is vital for a side using an aggressive pressing system with a high defensive line, as Arteta has been deploying. 
Canate's on-the-ball abilities are also a massive asset to the offensive phase of play as well, and should allow Arsenal to play through the opposition's presses more effectively than they are currently able to do. Even though 35 million is a big fee for Arsenal to spend, Canate's age, current ability and the position that he plays, which is a position that Arsenal are in need of improving, means that it is a signing I would look to make, as Canate has the potential to develop into one of the best centre-backs in the world. Creativity isn't just limited to a ball-playing centre-back or a deep-line midfielder. You can also be creative with your photos by downloading the Zona Photo Studio X. All you need to do is go to www.zona.com where you can download the software for a free 30-day trial with no obligations, so you can see if you like the product before you buy it. This is the perfect software for someone who loves taking photos, and they even have tutorials on their website to help you learn how to use the software effectively. The link to the website will be in the description below.